While states are considering what costs to make, it was no coincidence that they cut psychiatric costs. While I'm sick, hoping that I will die, the demons are already trying to split the spoils of my death. Hoping I'll be this one. The article is titled Mentally Ill Flood ER and State Cut Services by Julie Sten. Sen and Jillian Minson. It would appear that two women that they are using to break down the family structure. Let me go on. On a recent shift at Chicago's emergency room, his emergency department, Dr. William Sullivan treated a newly homeless patient who was threatened to kill himself. Oh, Dr. William Sullivan, huh? Huh. Reminds me of Mrs. Sullivan. Another you He had been homeless for about two weeks. He hadn't showered. He asked if we had a meal tray. Well, the first thing he asked is about food, you fucking asshole. So the problem is needing funding for homeless shelters and social program pills. You give me a perfect example of how you're trying to give the poor and hungry pills instead of what which is food, better infrastructure, and more jobs. Across the country, doctors are facing a spike in psychiatric emergencies, attempting suicide, severe depression, psychosis. The number one things that you're citing, attempted suicide, a normal person feels when everything goes to hell, severe depression, which a normal person feels when everything goes to hell, and psychosis which a normal person goes through something similar like that when they're experiencing the symptoms of hunger. Continue. This trend is taxing emergency rooms all over burdened by uninsured patients who wait until ailments become acute before seeking treatment. These people without a previous psychiatric history who are coming in and telling us they lost their jobs, they've lost their homes, they can't provide for their families, and they are becoming severely depressed. And they got nowhere to turn, and they know a bunch of rich shrinks get all the funding. Nobody informed them that they got to cut the funding. And you're trying to take advantage of that by saying you need more funding for eugenics, instead of admitting that it's about meals, even though he pointed that out twice already in the article, and it's only halfway done. We continue. Visits to the hospital's psychiatric emergency department have declined 20% in the past three years. We've actually seen more very serious suicide attempts in that population than we had in the past as well. As a result of lack of food, as a result of men not having jobs and being able to feed their families. We found patients with mental illness who have been hurt on mental health services to find them where to go. That doctors are some of the patients most, most critical need is a warm bed. You keep going back to food and shelter and you're acting like you need the pills too. You, you haven't proven you need the pills too. The more I see the pa these patients, the more I realize that it's, it is sleeting and raining outside. The emergency room is the only place they have, like I just said. Government agencies such as the National Institute of Mental Health, you mean the scumbags that was calling black people monkeys after they caused the, the, they caused the, the recession, and they're going to turn around and say, oh, the black people are mentally ill, that's why they're hungry. It's not because there's no jobs. It's because they're mentally ill. Yeah, that's it. And pre prevention and the substance abuse and Mental Health Services Administration did not have fresh use of psychiatric services in years. So why haven't you had data in years, you fucking assholes, if that's your whole fucking job? Because you're full of shit and you want to drug up everyone to a bunch of eugenicists. Continue. But doctors from more than a dozen hospitals nationwide, mental health advocacy groups, and state-funded agencies toyed rotors they are seeking to mark increase in psychiatric emergencies. So they say an additional 400,000 people are seeking help through them. This goes back to them trusting the doctors. One of the problems I stated in my study. And they just go on talking about how they, oh, it's horrible, it's terrible, we love you, and we love you, and blah, 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 and you can read it for yourself. You know, I scroll down, you can go through it slowly and read it through yourself if you want, but you can tell that it's just some I love you bullshit, and they want some more fucking death pill camps, even though they admit the problem is food and shelter. Thank you.